You are listening to the No Nonsense Show. 10% less bullshit than any other podcast, guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back to the No Nonsense Show. This is your boy Jay Smooth and the fabulous motherfucking three. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm leading it once again. You know, I'm leading the charge, goddamn. Y'all know I am the story. motherfucking star of the goddamn show. I be trying to tell y'all. I was listening back to the show, Jay Mac. I'm I'm pretty funny some goddamn time. Rarely. You, you have your moments. Well, before you're never we, funny when you try to be. Fuck that. Before we get into and it, right? And I know you're finna try to be. I know I you're about to try really he's hard. Right now. He's, already he's gonna try really hard. Fabulous three. Hold on. Really? I mean, I mean, Come I'm on, just man. saying. I'm just saying. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Before you got we, your shirt on though. Hey, look. Before we before <laughs> we get started. That's before we get started <laughs> by popular demand, we got my girl Misty Flute in the building. <laughs> With her what's hubby. up? What's up? I brought my husband. Yeah, it's yeah. Nice. You, don't that's know, what's you, up. you don't even know what to call him. Dude. Saul is in the house. That's Saul. what I'm saying. You don't what's even up, know y'all? people. What's happening? What's going on? You said Saul, like he cut motherfuckers up and shit in the scary uh, movie. Like- King Saul. Oh shit, like King Daddy. Saul, nigga. That, damn. And we got got if, if if y'all watching the live show, we got French Reggie in this bitch like Captain America, like I, a gay a, a gay cat, <laughs> like a gender fluid Captain America. Hey, it's so. What's funny. that bullseye for? Like, what are, what are you supposed to shoot that motherfucker? Gay. That motherfucker like I'm a super Haitian hero. <laughs> hey, now, that's cool. What's the glitter represent though? For real. Hey, it's just no, made like that. It, no, not really. No, I mean, because like, it's a vinyl print. It's so hold on, like it was a, probably like twenty different versions of the Captain America shirt that I've seen around. Yeah. But you chose that one with the. I don't know if the if the, if the listeners or the viewers can see the glitter. Yeah, you can see, see that see shit. It. That yeah, shit yeah, is yeah. sparkling though. Yeah. And it gets what made you decide to get that one? I didn't buy it. Oh. They should have gave you that shit. You about right, and it's a little short. You know what I'm saying? A little, little tight. For you to be little, how you wear some tight shit and you little already? You know what I'm saying? I was just talking about a man walking around with a glitter-ass shirt this weekend. Mm-hmm. And I know since we're not drinking today, I can curse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I took my daughter to a different hair salon, right? And they said, we want you to... <laughs> oh, you not why, fucking uh, old girl no yeah, more? Yeah, 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 why? I said, what? No, no, no. I ain't never fucked nobody. But anyway... <laughs> <laughs> anyway... <laughs> just nigga j back. Hey, anyway, so I took her to a different salon, right? And they said, they said smooth... You can rock one of our posh shirts. The salon is posh up in the Kula, right? And they had a shirt with glitter on. I said, what kind of nigga would I be to walk around with a shirt with glitter on it? I said, real men don't walk around no shit. Then I saw French tonight, and I'm like, well, I, got, I get it. He's not a real man. He's a young boy. So young men can probably wear shit like that. You know what I'm saying? When's the last time you seen a, a, a real man walk around in a powder blue polo with, uh, nigga, a, a, with nigga, a lime hey, horse? Hey, look, <laughs> n- <laughs> nigga. Hey, a cool ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Once again, hey, I'm secure with the mind though, French. Me I'm too. T- That's t- why I can wear a glitter shirt. No, nigga, I'm telling you. Chick start hollering at you And she see all that goddamn glitter around you uh, Sparkling on your face On your hand She wanna fuck with you You know what I'm saying That's what So you I'm just saying Between that shirt And them tight ass rubber bands You got on your wrist <laughs> I don't know which one is worse though You know what I'm saying Then that goddamn cap you got on And then <sighs> you sit beside your boy Jay Mack This motherfucker right here got, I don't know if that sequence Or what kind of shirt he got on He got <laughs> This motherfucker got I want so, the old Jay Mack back you, you remember when we were telling You were telling y'all That he tries to be funny And it's never funny No but I'm just saying But I'm just saying I want the old Jay Mack back Cause this new Jay Mack this n- yeah, He's been written for three minutes No no hold on hold on This nigga Jay Mack And I like that tie That's a pretty sharp cheap tie I mean I like that That's, How that's you pretty slick a compliment <laughs> You gotta get something good With the bag That's what I learned In management now You gotta get good Just so bad. you know that little giggle you did, that's another five that's fucking enough, minutes. That's enough, yeah. Like that's you, another five minutes worth of bullshit that's just because he thought that he was funny. This motherfucker got a slim tight dress shirt on. That's nice, though. That's nice, j Mac. Welcome to the show, j Mac. You good? We appreciate it. Are you done? We appreciate it. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Right, oh, oh yeah, for the listeners, fuck j Mac and fuck French Reggie because y'all didn't bring me no motherfucking drink. I'm always looking out for you two motherfuckers. Tell the whole story. You two motherfuckers, are, you, y'all are leeches. Y'all are, what was up, Misty? What else I call them? They leeches and what else? Moochers. No, you said bad. Beggars Yeah beggars. Tell, tell the Be- whole story though Hey, I came in Once again with something Right To the show What did you come in with I came in with an energy drink I, I, I hit my boy up With a, um, Mr. Pib Because he always wanted Mr. Pib And this, this the house He always wants a Mr. Pib He be wanting Mr. Pib I keep him fat They said if I'm going to be fat I'm going to keep him fat too So French thirsty ass French don't never have shit I swear This the cheapest young nigga I know I broke his nigga That nigga don't never have shit He was always mooching He said you want to share some of that So I shared my drink with him I ain't give you no energy. I did. Wait, he, yep. he shared. He shared his energy drink with you. No, no, that's I, the pib. 
But I did share though, Jay Mac, right? Share. And I asked you, I asked that nigga to bring me something when he went to the store. And you hung up on me from that sure nigga did. phone. What kind of relationship you hanging up another sure nigga did. phone? Sure did, because I didn't want to. You was on the fucking, he has that Bluetooth shit. You in didn't his went car. to the store and gave friends some head. I can't. I can. <laughs> 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 Y'all niggas up. came back hey, look, you, you almost laughed at that shit, nigga So again so, hey, he, so he, again. he about to give himself away You gave that nigga some head I saw nah, him come and zip this Them nah. dress pants up I'm mad that's what you're trying to like I'm That's your saying, joke nigga. That's hey, your joke J-Mac used you like a bitch He said, bitch, let's go to the store You drove I thought you had something important to say I'm just saying, I'm just saying I'm just saying You're rolling You, you, you J-Mac's bitch tonight J-Mac that's you can't bitch. say that because you just asked J Mac before the show started to tell him on the live show to tell the whole world that he's your bitch. You you if asked I, him. if I gave that nigga some drink, I said then you got to get on the motherfucking show. You right? I said but that. you you fucking bought be honest a drink, bitch. I didn't ask him for it. <laughs> I know, I know. So so he didn't even ask you to. You you just bitched up and came in but here and was like, listen, what I got for you, babe. You, and don't say because it's the house. Don't but say that. This but is you. what I got for you, boo. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you old hey. soft, sorry ass, suck ass nigga. Shut up, man. Right. Next topic. Okay, next. Come on, nigga. That was stop. Five, that five minute Jace move, I get that about a six out of ten. Six? That's good. You get that a six? A lot. For funny. Wow. I, mean, I don't laugh at six. Six is like Amy Schumer. That's not, that's like a titter. That's not even that's not even like a ha <laughs> That's like a t- <laughs> <laughs> Come okay, on. Jeff. All right. Jace move, what, what are you? Uh, are you a Democrat? I'm nothing. You, I, no, what, say it again. Say I it just, loud, bitch. I vote, <laughs> say it loud. I vote. I vote for the most popular. You are nothing. <laughs> oh, so what does that even popular. mean? I vote for the most popular. I mean, I don't keep up with that shit. I mean, you vote for the most popular. So did you vote for Trump? Because Trump is the most popular. I didn't vote did for him. Did you vote at all? I did. I did. I actually do go vote. Now I don't do the the main events. I do those. The preliminaries and all the other shits. The local shit. So you vote for the president? I vote for the president. Yeah, I do that one. Oh, you don't vote for the local. You only vote for the big one. The, the big one. That's you should I said, vote the main for the event. local ones. That one's work more. That's it's, better yeah. to do than it the is. big ones. It is, but I just don't. So, are you a liberal? I'm just me. Okay. He don't know what liberal means. I, <laughs> like, <I'm, laughs> why wouldn't? I? Why wouldn't, Jay? Man, what about the rest of y'all? How do y'all? We never really talked about what we are. What? How do you guys? Identify French Reggie can't even He ain't eligible to be shit In the country He's a, he's a citizen I'm a are citizen you? bro Are you yeah. Congrats my nigga Thank you, you know um, I'm I don't want to be none But I'm probably more of a liberal Than anything You don't want to be them I, I I don't label myself As a liberal or conservative But my ideas fall into more Like I'm more of a liberal Than anything Like Why would you say that Because most of my ideas ag- I agree to, with theirs that Like what shirt Nigga that's prime example Symbolism <laughs> What? That nigga symbolizes with the free people. You what, know what, what are you talking about? His shirt. He what does that shirt have to do with any the of that? He's, him, he's himself. He don't care what people think. French just say, I'm going to step out. French wears some bullshit, right? He'll put some shit on and you wonder... Why he come oh, out of the house oh, like that? Oh, Jimmy Mac, what would you consider yourself? Man, I was gonna wonder, son, man, Lord Jesus, I was I was about to start timing this nigga. Um, Same thing. I, from, You're liberal. From Cali, so you would think that I'm liberal, but I'm really conservative, man. I, I think that the I'm liberal in certain things that I do, but for the most part, I think conservative is the way to go. I think liberal is just too much. They 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 just want to push the limits for the sake of pushing the limits. Like we want change just for the sake of change. Like I don't know. Like wasn't wasn't the Republicans the ones that freed the niggas? Yeah. All right. I'm down with them. <laughs> the niggas. Yeah. Republicans freed the niggas. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Shout out to Kanye. So, <laughs> so uh, Saul and, and Misty Flu, what do you guys, are y'all the same or do you guys have separate views? Party? Is it a house divided? Of course. I sure I'll speak first. I don't care. Yeah, um, Miss, you get close. I would consider myself more of a conservative. Conservative? Okay, what about you, Saul? You can move. You can move this. You gonna have to I'm move about, it. Yeah, eighty five percent conservative. Eighty five percent. That's that. how you know they got money. You see, they want to keep all them taxes. That, no, really, <laughs> that's what I think. Is it's, it's, it's it like about that. having money. It's I, about wanting to have money. I feel you. I ain't mad at that. So recently, uh, I know you guys all saw in the Slack room, but um, Kanye West made a statement that he supported or he liked the he liked the way that Candace Owens thinks. Did you guys hear about that? Yeah. Did you guys see that? So. Um, Right after that is when he kind of just got put on timeout by black people, and then the Trump comments came out. Who was Candace Owens? Tennis player? No, she's a um, Fox journalist. She's a, a liberal that switched over and became a conservative. She black or white? She's black. Okay. And um, the idea here though was that 
uh, Chance the Rapper. I mean, all the rappers came out and were like, you know what I'm saying? If you think like her, if you think her ideas are good, then you don't, obviously you don't think like us. You're not a black person, blah, blah. He goes further and goes further. That's bullshit. Of course it's bullshit. So, so the thing is, though, is that the way the social media is, the reason why I hardly ever see it, like, for instance, that barbecue lady, Misty Flew had to show me that today. I had no idea there was a white lady calling the, the police on barbecue people. And... Charcoal. Uh, Charcoal police. And waited right. two hours for the police to come. I had no idea. But I, I, I was reluctant to believe what they were saying about Kanye West. And, you know, on black and both sides, I, we went into that. But... I actually went back and I listened to some interviews of Candace Owens. It's like an a hour and a half interview of her. She has some good points. No, she's not some good points. The, all the points. Every single one of the points is good. I'm not really sure what black people are... What's, you know what it is, right? No. This is what I be talking about all the time. But The difference between black Americans and black immigrants. That's the same mindset we all have. The Candace Owens mindset... The I guess the Kanye West mindset now is just that hey stop bitching and crying and go mm. and do something about I, it I, now. I, I don't know if, if Haitians and Candace Owens agree. Not necessarily. Nigga, stop talking that, shit. That was a stretch. <laughs> that was a stretch though. I mean, you, but that's what I, that's where we're coming from when we say that. Uh, There's really an elephant in the room when it comes to black folks. A lot of black people actually support Trump. A lot of black people actually are conservative, but most of them don't want to talk about it because they don't want to be alienated by. The large majority by the yeah. group, by, well, by the people who do the most talking. We challenge people on this show to give us one thing Trump has actually done to them. He hasn't done nothing yet. And we have talked shit. We haven't been able to come with it. But the thing though is, Candace Owens makes a lot of a lot of great points. And in fact, I don't really think I disagree about anything. She made a statement about Colin Kaepernick in that interview that I was like, I'm not so sure that what he does. Say? I can't remember. But it was more along the lines of he's an, he's an athlete, so who cares what kind of what he thinks? But mm. but other than that. I don't, I don't see what the problem is. And she's actually a Trump supporter now and has also gone Republican. I don't know that I can go all the way full Republican, but at the same time, I don't, I don't really attach myself to any, any party. So it's not that, yeah. that I, I pick Democrat over Republican. I don't pick any of it. You, you try to choose who's the best candidate, right? No, I don't pick. I don't, don't vote. Pick. Like me, like I wanted John Kasich to win. Who? During, during, yeah, during the Trump. During or during? Fuck Ooh, you, man. John you know Kasich? Yeah. Kasich. I don't even know what that is. That's the Ohio He guy. wasn't better than the old dude. I like John Bernie? Kasich. Yeah. Except Bernie for was fact. too utopian for me. Like, I, was, I like what Bernie was talking about, but I'm like, this shit would never happen. Bernie was going to give all our shit away. Right. He was going to give everybody free education. <laughs> yeah. Who's going to pay for it? I'm just being real. Like, I mean, all this taxes, shit he want to give taxes. away. No. But, but, Somebody was going to have to pay for that shit. Yeah, in our taxes. Yeah, but I just felt, I felt like with the Bernie thing, we probably would have cut down on military spending and take some of that money to education. We would have probably just fluctuate the... Because we have the money Thank Let's not you. act like We don't have the Thank money you. We have the money and we, we, fuck, we, have we, the we fuck money. off the Think money Think about how much We spend in military man We yeah. have the money Absolutely. We still gotta protect so, we, we, gotta we gotta protect, protect we, got. we gotta protect This <sighs> shit that we have We always in everybody else shit You still You gotta make sure You keep our shit you know what I'm saying? The flow. So you don't want to take away from that part of it. You know what I'm saying? To put in to the education. You got to find All a way I'm to cut back another some, way. That's bullshit. All I'm saying there's money. There's money. That's bullshit. There's money out there. We have the money to get free education. I'm not I, why, why do we want to do free education? And first, or just the price of education shouldn't be that See, high. See, only young people say give free education. When, when you get old enough to actually start really paying taxes and start looking at <laughs> your property taxes you and your sales yeah, you taxes to Mike. <laughs> and all of these other taxes that you had to pay, you realize that if you give everybody free education, then they're going to take more out of your check. Yeah, I understand that. But, but if, you don't, if you don't pay taxes yet, then it's not a big deal. Like, oh, yeah, give it to us. Free, free, free. I still see all these places where they're still giving away free phones, even now. Or I just want people to get at least educa <laughs> educated, you know? Or like, like me, I, I, I'm from a place that people can't get education at right. all. So I came here and what, I realized... Boston, nigga? No, so that's why he said... <laughs> like, like, so when I came here and I was like, damn, I'm blessed to go to school and shit like that... That shit is good. But like, you know what, though? You can get a free education by getting good grades in school. Like in yeah, Georgia, yeah, yeah, we yeah, have yeah. the Hope, uh, the Hope Scholarship. Scholarship. Yeah, I was you a Hope kid. I was a Hope kid. But the point I'm trying to make, kid. though, is yeah. that is free. That means that you deserved the free education. Yeah. When you talk but about just giving anybody free education, I know people who went to school for 10 years and got a bachelor's. <laughs> And see, that's and, and that's where this that's all true. falls apart. That's so, the part you don't want. You don't want people to take advantage of the system. It's always I can agree with that. This is I can agree with that. The system yeah. is already being taken advantage of. I know people that work for the government that at the end of the quarter, they have to burn through money on dumb shit just so that next quarter they or the next they, they get the same budget. Yeah. They spend money on, on frivolous, erroneous shit. They just have to spend the money or else they get less money. So they're buying dumb shit that don't even they don't even need just wastefully so that they can get more money. That what kind of system is that? But the free education is working in some other countries. Nah. 
Does it? But the, yeah, yeah, in socialist countries, those countries yeah, yeah. are tiny, tiny countries. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they're we all over, every every last one. Well, we what about Japan? Because the motherfuckers in yep. India, the yeah, niggas yeah, are yeah. smart. Do they got free education? Who in Japan? Japan? No. Okay, I'm just saying. I don't know. I've never been to Japan. The, you just go to school. All the time. So, what about India? No. So the thing, are smart too. thing is crazy about it, man, is because when you look at the word, I don't consider myself to be conservative. Mm-hmm. I consider myself to be liberal. If you look at the words, you know what I'm saying. So liberal, liberal, or liberty, or any of the liberal words that come from Latin have to do with free. That's what the actual translation is. Free. Yeah. So I did a little research on how did, how did it go from being where somebody who would consider themselves to be liberal was all growing up, I thought I was a liberal. But, you know, something happened, something changed. So apparently there was classical libera- lib- uh, liberalism and then it, there's socialist lim- liber- liber- liberalism. There, liberalism. <laughs> <laughs> so the, um, the classical liberalism was when uh, the country basically allowed free market to, to rule the, the country. The problem became, though, that it wasn't necessarily fair. So because it wasn't fair, people weren't free because they were, they were bogged down by ignorance, poverty, and that kind of stuff. So in order to get people out of ignorance and po- poverty, they had to balance it out and equal right. it. Give so them they, free shit. So they started the socialist thing, which was a, a, you know, a little pinch of socialism in there. Oh, that won't hurt nobody. But what it ended up doing was get, it brought things like affirmative action. It brought in things like where we are now where everybody gets a say no matter what you're saying. And that's why, I, that's why I'm not liberal anymore. But I didn't know that. I've always thought that everybody who thinks like me and who is me is liberal. I would have thought Jay Smooth would have said he was liberal. I don't think Jay Smooth knows what it means, honestly. You haven't said much, Jay Smooth. You got anything to it's, say? I mean, what? liberal means to be free. No, no, I know. But what about the things we've been talking about? What do you think? I mean, you know, when, when you when you when you talking about when you talking about Democrats versus you know Republicans. The Republicans and shit like that, I think more of the blacks go with Democrat because of. Upbringing, right? They think that they for them, but when you start looking at what uh, the conservatives bring, it's like they want to kind of keep their money in their pocket, right? They say why? Even no, though, everybody wants to keep their money. I know in their everybody pocket. definitely want to keep their mo- keep their money in their pocket, but they say because you make so much, because I paid the price, I sacrificed and did whatever I need to do to go get rich and make a lot of money. Why do I have to just pay so much more in taxes? These motherfuckers had the same opportunity as I had. Why don't you fucking go out there and just pay the price and sacrifice and go out and make a lot of money too? See, when you put in that that tax bracket, you think like they think, like the Republicans and shit like that, because all the laws, you know, they're trying to keep their money at bay, whereas the Democrats, they say, we're trying to take all the money from the rich and give it to the motherfucker, the broke or the poor. Right. You know what I'm saying? Which, wealth, which, 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 which I disagree with that. I'm like... And, and when you make a large lump sum of money, right. that's where you start thinking different. Well, let me ask you, know? you a question. Okay, so if the free market were completely ruling, which is what it, how it started, would you be okay with one in 100,000 people actually making it out of poverty? Because that's about what the numbers were during the time. 100,000 people? One in, one in every 100,000 people basically one, made it. One in. Basically made it out of out of poverty. Would you be okay with that? What twenty thousand or less? Who cares? Just poverty, man. Come on. Shit, that's a low ass number. It's an extremely low number. That's a low number. But would you be okay with that? I don't know, because everybody. So then, fuck. But everybody had the same fucking shot, nigga. Let's. I mean, (laughs) shit, nigga. Get. (laughs) Well, at least a lot of people would be poor, man. Well, a lot of people are poor now, though. A yeah. lot more than, they, than 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 we let on to. The is there pro- more poor people than 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 middle class? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. yes. in this country. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. There's a there's Everywhere there's a yeah. absolutely there's a myth that you know the American dream thing is alive, but the American dream really was only alive during that free market reign. Yeah. However, are you okay with only one out of one about one hundred thousand people actually getting outside there? Are you? You say no. It's, you say no. Yeah. You say no. What about you guys? Are you okay with that? No. Okay, so see, there's the problem right there. So we're not all the way liberal. We're, we're not all the way free market. We have to then Compromise. bring in a socialist mindset somewhat. So I, then how do you draw the line, though? Republicans believe in that, though. But Republicans believe in a safety net. They believe that... that I, I, I won't even speak for them. I'll speak for me. I believe that there are certain people who need to be taken care of. The elderly need to be taken care of. The veterans need to be taken care of. Those who cannot do for themselves... But not students. And when I say... <laughs> Not do for yourself. I mean, you ain't got no arms. You ain't got no legs. You can't speak because, you know, you can get a job if you got a voice. Yep. You can get a job if you're blind because I see them at Walmart. You can get a job if you're deaf. So it's a whole lot of people. good for that. Yeah, it's a whole lot of people who can actually work. It's very few people when we're talking about what you're saying statistically as far as the population where you need forever help. 
there's always a temporary help where you get off your feet for six months or nine months or a year, but five years, 10 years, 20 years, that's, that's not help. But that's, the, th the thing about it is, is what has happened is, right, they put these things in place, right, for in hopes of people in the beginning, right, people using this to kind of help them give them a, a crutch, an edge, right, until you can do better. But right. what has happened is people have taken advantage of the system and say, why the fuck would I go to work and make some money where I can just, you know, I can just stay here and get this shit free. Give me an example. I find it more now, more common, more people trying to get fucking disability than anything nowadays. <laughs> and that little bit of fucking money, <laughs> that little bit of, and that money is little, right? I know a lot of motherfuckers, the young people trying old, to get disability. Old motherfuckers too. And people I'm on this show. No, no, no. no <laughs> I'm, talking about, I'm talking about to the point, I'm talking about disability to the point where they're not working. Fuck that. Oh, you're, if, you're, I, if I went to the military, not, not if I went to the mil if I went to the military and fucking I was one way when I went in and I came out fucked up, I'm gonna get some money. Yeah, but just I'm just saying, born J Mac, you could get a check, but yeah. you haven't submitted your shit. But shouldn't you, you have to be saying? in battle to come out of the military? Like, oh, I'm fucked no, up. No, fuck that. Fuck that. I mean, look, like you, you've been in battle, but you ain't getting no check. I'm not, but you, you are, and you didn't go to battle. Oh, you fuck. So, so is it fair to me? The whole is, time. It, is it fair to me to utilize my benefits? Nope. You, uh, my thing is, you were the nigga you were just talking about. Okay, I was just <laughs> no. going to say, right, exactly, because this is a, this is the difference. There's one, it's, it's one thing to get something because you need it. It's another thing to get something because it's there get, and it's available to you. And that's, that's what just you're doing. Like, no, no, exactly. No, no, no that's, that's not it. That's like, not what I'm doing. That is exactly what you're give doing. Give me an example. Give me an example, right? You didn't get I'm, hurt. Like, no, like, no, like, no, 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 I'm, I'm just fucking with that. him. I'm you fucking with him. He was in the military. He deserves to get compensated if he's injured, and, and, and but... It's so still a little shaky. The thing about the thing about it is is this, right? The thing about injured, it the thing about injured. it is is right. If you working on if you working on a job, right, and the job costs you to get carpal tunnel or whatever, and you maximize your benefits, you say before I started with you, damn it, I didn't have such and such, and now because I'm working here or so dude, whatever. Every cashier no, on, should I'm, get that then. I'm sorry, did you did you did the military <laughs> like no, I'm everybody just, I'm just gonna oh, okay. use an example. Okay, not I'm not just, you. We're talking about somebody. I'm giving else. an example. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I think you should utilize your benefits. Right. But uh, just unfortunately, all companies don't do that. The government does but I'm talking about when you start talking about disability where people are just staying at home for whatever fucking reason you know what I'm saying so I go to work I'm I'm grinding and I've, I've worked since before I was at the age of 18 and I haven't stopped working what since. does that have to do with you taking advantage of a disability that is nigga like because it's old to me See, that's the thing. That's, you should have because if it's you would have passed, he's liberal. Because he's really, he's really a liberal, right? Just that guy's in a dickhead's body, right? <laughs> because it's there and it's available to you. You're saying I'm going to take it. Don't fucking get mad at me. You should have took the ass valve and went in too. No, I, no, no. I'm not saying that's it. not I'm the just, point. I'm just contradicting you when you're saying oh, I'm talking about people out there that that are taking advantage of the system just because they can. No, what I'm saying is what I'm saying. That's is, what you know. It's doing. old to him. <laughs> this shit old to me. It is. I went in one way, and because of the military, things have happened. No, sir. Cost me. You and I'm getting my motherfucking. And, and I'm gonna submit, and I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep getting my shit. Whether I worked at the desk, just being there is give you an example, right? Give you an example. You were, you were, he was sitting at the though, desk right? too no, long, and his no, knee was big. No, 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 no. Give me an example, right? Give me, an, give, give, right. give so How can he get it? If he, give me an example. Because hey, that's that's a that's benefit a, that veterans have. Veterans have the benefit if they want to get a sex change, they'll pay for it. I don't know about that. That's now. Oh, no, they, they would do that when I was in. I don't want it. It was still shit. don't ask, don't tell when I was in. That's why Jay Smooth got through so long. <laughs> but as a, as a military person who was in the military, uh -huh. if you get injured while in the military, no matter when the injury happened, you can then go and ask for benefits. Even after that injury is... He's get, still getting benefits. See, We've been see, out of the military 20 years. This is and, what I'm saying. And, and, and be honest, because he took the anthrax shot and you get bigger over the year. See, he hadn't submitted his check. He get it... Total disability for this shit. If they see how small he was now to so now, twenty years down the line, you can still get. He still can get this shit. Well, he still is he's tax free, nigga, his... nigga. Tax free. So I'm gonna get my. Now shit. he's bragging. Now he's bragging he's about it. It's not gonna stop. It's <laughs> never gonna stop. Talking about why military expenditures are so high. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Shit like right. that. Fuck that, nigga. I'm gonna get some more too because I, I I had two good knees before I went in and good arms and I had. But you a, also a turned forty nine. Well, some of your knees are bad now because you old, nigga. Mil military. Because he costs. fat. That's why them, them joints. And that could be that too. That could. Be and that, that nigga too. was a preemie. That shit was bound to happen anyway, nigga. <laughs> you was set up. <laughs> you was set up from the beginning. Yeah, that shit, for you to win. <laughs> but you, but you do agree with like how, however, the money's being spent the wrong way. 
It's like, always going to be spent it, the wrong way yeah. when, it's, when you're talking about the government. There's no way around it. Nigga, the Whether government. You're Republican or, or Democrat. Democrat True they that. all going to fuck the money up. Yeah, the that. government, yes, spend, the government spend money on dumb shit, right? I mean, yep. that's, a lot that's of money. The they, could be, they could spend $2,000 on one of these chairs we sit in. They don't give a fuck. I mean, <laughs> that's just what they do. You know what I'm saying? So, And that's I mean, also one of the biggest reasons why Republicans like to keep the money down. Because the more money that you give to the government, the more they fuck up. Yeah. For every $100 million that the government uh, 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 tries to allocate out to whatever it's supposed to go to, at least 25, 30 million of that ends up going to some bullshit. Okay. I'm about so, to sign up for the NRA. <laughs> <laughs> so look, the funny thing about all this is, what this all started from was me watching Candace Owens and actually agreeing with her. The, the messed up part about it all, though, is that as black people... If anybody says anything like I agree with her or the things you just said, right? Choo, choo. You get vilified. You're not a black person, nope. like uh, like as if that, that one cool opinion, train. the shit will come for you, man. So then, then mm-hmm. how? And, and, and if all of us agree, then who are the people that are saying differently? Because it feels like it's a mountain of evidence it's on the thing, other side. Man. Well, group just think. like just like he was just saying, the problem is that most of somebody lying, goddamn. Like somebody is lying. Like, like it, 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 it doesn't make sense that this is how everybody feels, but this is the way the shit, shit is playing is. out. Like, it, it doesn't make sense at all. So somebody is, like you were saying, people don't want to be um, cast out of the the vast majority of you know of of public opinion. Right. Right. And so if I know that my entire family believes something, if I am not a certain type of person. Even if that's not what I believe, I might shoot the shit. I might play the game with you. But when it comes time to start voting and 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 playing an active role in change, I'm gonna roll with what I really think, even if I don't say it. But yeah. the evidence, the proof is in the pudding right now. Like the evidence and and what's happening right now is in the fact that we do have the president. We have this nigga did not elect himself. I don't give a shit what nobody says. No, yeah, Middle so. America elected him. Exactly. But these are still the same people. a lot people. of black folks that contributed. Okay. Yeah. Think about it like this. Think about it. A uh, great example of what we're talking about is the bandwagon mentality. There's six of us in this room right now, right? Let's say there's one very strong personality in this room. And this one person is the loudest and naturally feels like he can speak for us. Now, if we're not strong... Well, no, let that shit happen. Us, even if we don't agree, okay. we just won't. We don't want to have a conflict with the loudest person in the room. So he'll say everything that he. Well, what was that show that time? Uh, we was watching that rapper, and he was talking about how his buddy was sitting next to him. And he was talking about how you know he was down for him and everything he had going on. Oh, oh. And, you, you remember that? I see that. Yeah, he was like, if, if if um if I if I rob somebody, this nigga gonna rob with me. If I do this, he gonna rob me. Nigga, if I die, he gonna die with me. That nigga <laughs> looked up from his phone like. like nah. he didn't say but he still didn't say shit. Like, no, nigga. I'm Sound like what y'all saying. I don't know that we discussed that, but like, it's the same, yeah, you're right. It's the same principle. It sounds like what y'all saying is, is a lot of fake news. It's a lot of fake niggas. Yeah. But there no, but but when when Trump was saying it was fake news, everybody's like, no, no, no. But honestly, I think it was a lot of fake news, even against him. Oh, that absolutely. and a lot of same news because we only watching the same shit. CNN. That's what's pissing me off. Like, yeah. I purposely go watch Fox News and I go watch CNN. I go watch both. That way. I know what's going, what's really going on. Not really. And neither one of them are really telling <laughs> right. you shit. Right. right. That's, That's what I'm saying. That. I go to Reuters and Al Jazeera because you know what? You get different perspectives from all of them. They show you yeah. shit that you won't see on either one of those channels. Yep. I want y'all to check out this video. Crisis actors. <laughs> Do you believe in free speech? Do you believe that people should be judged by their character, like not their skin right color? Talk, Do you believe in freedom of religion? If you believe these things, you're probably not a progressive. You might think you're a progressive. I used to think I was. My show, The Rubin Report, was originally part of the Progressive Young Turks network. Progressives struck me as liberals but louder. Progressives were the nice guys. They looked out for the little guy. They cared about women and minorities. They embraced change. In short, who wouldn't want to be a progressive? But over the last couple of years, the meaning of the word progressive has changed. Progressives used to say, I may disagree with what you say, but I'll fight to the death for your right to say it. Not anymore. Banning speakers whose opinions you don't agree with from college campuses, that's not progressive. Prohibiting any words not approved of as politically correct, that's not progressive. Putting trigger warnings on books, movies, music, anything that might offend people, that's not progressive either. All of this has led me to believe that much of the left is no longer progressive, but regressive. 
This is one of the reasons I've spent so much time on my show talking about the regressive left. This regressive ideology doesn't judge people as individuals, but as a collective. If you're black or female or Muslim or Hispanic or member of any other minority group, you're judged differently than the most evil of all things, a white Christian male. The regressive left ranks minority groups in a pecking order to compete in a kind of oppression Olympics. Gold medal goes to the most offended. Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream that his children would be judged by their character and not their skin color was a liberal idea, but these days it's not a progressive ideal. And what about religious freedom, the idea that no one else can tell you what you have to believe? Surely progressives still support that basic right. Well, not so much. I'm a married gay man, so you might think that I appreciate the government forcing a Christian baker or photographer or florist to act against their religion in order to cater, photograph, or decorate my wedding. But you'd be wrong. A government that can force Christians to violate their conscience can force me to violate mine. If a baker won't bake you a cake, find another baker. Don't demand that the state tell him what to do with his private business. I'm pro-choice, but a government that can force a group of Catholic nuns, literally called the Little Sisters of the Poor, to violate their faith and pay for abortion-inducing birth control can force anyone to do anything. That's not progressive, that's regressive. Today's progressivism has become a faux moral movement hurling charges of racism, bigotry, xenophobia, homophobia, Islamophobia, and a slew of other meaningless buzzwords at anyone they disagree with. The battle of ideas has been replaced by a battle of feelings, and outrage has replaced honesty. Diversity reigns supreme as long as it's not that pesky diversity of thought. This isn't the recipe for a free society, it's a recipe for authoritarianism. For these reasons, I can no longer call myself a progressive. I don't really call myself a Democrat either. I'm a classical liberal, a free thinker, and as much as I don't like to admit it, defending my liberal values has suddenly become a conservative position. So if you think people should be able to say what they think without being punished for it, that people should be judged by their behavior, not their skin color, and that people should be able to live the way that they want to live without government interference, then there's not much left on the left for you. I'll keep trying to explain that to progressives until I'm totally left out. I'm Dave Rubin of The Rubin Report for Prager University. So the funny thing here is that he's going to keep trying to explain it. I'm looking in the live room right now, and y'all talking about this guy's voice is sleepy. He's putting y'all to sleep. This is the fucking problem right now. I was this very... Is a, this is exactly what the fuck is wrong with y'all. I was quite a bit. Yeah, like, was I was very like... Educational. It was very yeah, I was like, damn, this, this, is, this is what is fucking facts. wrong with you right now. That's this is why we're going shit. through this shit. Motherfuckers can't, they can't handle like big words and shit. Right. Well, and they don't know shit because they don't read. It's hey. just like school. Hey, didn't um, uh, some of the Republicans wind up going, turning into liberals uh, since Trump been in office? They switch parties and shit like that? Uh, you've seen some people go independent. Like, and, I wouldn't say oh, liberal. They've okay. gone independent. Independent means that you can be whatever you want to be. You're not choosing a side. You are a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. You can change it every day if you feel like because you're independent. Yeah. I'm, man, I'm, I'm pissed off at y'all, man. I promise I am. I like this is exactly the opposite of what y'all should be thinking about. And y'all talking about the nigga sleepy, he's got a sleepy voice, and he put y'all to, like, get the fuck out of here, man. Why do y'all even listen to our show? Honestly, if that's how y'all feel, why do y'all even care about tuning in? Because we've never been like that. Yeah. I don't I mean, know, you, man. You, you, what are y'all thoughts on the video? I loved it. I liked it. No, yeah. no, yeah, that motherfucker was he, was, yeah. he was real. I mean, and that's what I'm saying. It's probably over, he was talking over people's fucking capacity to comprehend. No, and that's wasn't. why they're fucking No, he wasn't. That was my, no, no, my no, tenure. He said, he, said some, he said some people. Some, some people. people. Yeah, yeah, it was colorful, like it. Man. Because, It was no, colorful. Right. It was perfect. It was pictures. Yeah, it was perfect. But, but, but the thing about it is, it's just like, um, because, and, and one of the things, like, when you're, no trying to inform, when you're trying to inform them, like, like what we bring it to them now, and it's not anything funny. You know, some motherfuckers, they just ain't, they ain't ready to be what well, like you Because they prefer saying. to be entertained yeah. than versus to, exactly you it, 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 entertainment. Gambino's video is exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. 
And he was a genius because he was able to capture, like, or, or he was able to to create a way to the capture their attention while still delivering all of these messages at the same time. Mm-hmm. But yeah. if you take something that it ain't a bunch of music going on and dancing and a bunch of shit blowing up, and like people, like people require too much stimulation in order to be. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, man. There ain't a lot of people talking about he's doing sleight of hand and misinformation. Full, you're full of shit. You are fucking stupid if you think that's misinformation. That's the problem. What's the Y'all misinformation? Got me, I'm upset about this because like everything that dude said is absolutely, absolutely right. fucking real. And all you got to do is Google it. It's well, fucking real. Do some fact checking. All this misinformation. This even, is that bullshit rhetoric. That's what I'm talking about. It, you don't even have to do. You don't have to go that far. It's just the fucking concept of what he's telling you. Like if a, like he said it. I'm a gay dude, and I remember that shit where the fucking yeah, they, they wanted yeah, the, the they wanted that, that baker. They, that they, cake, they, they, they were they were gonna sue and you know, and they kind of forced this motherfucker. He's like, listen, I'm gay. And I don't want that shit. That's fucking dumb. Right. That if you don't want to bake me a cake, it's kind of like when I like moving to the south because everybody before I moved to the south, everybody's like, "Hey, you don't move out there, fucking." They don't like niggas. But the people that don't like niggas let you know up front that they don't like niggas. Right. Which is right. which is. I'd rather know who these people are. Which is great with me. I'm cool. I, listen, all the motherfuckers that ride around with the Confederate flag hanging out the back of their trucks, I'm like, that's what's up. Right. I appreciate. Here, here, support shit you got going on. Right. I'm stop and help you if you get. But I'm not that. gonna expect you to support mine either. And but we have an the, understanding between the two of us that you don't fuck with me and I don't fuck with you. There and it is. Cool. And it's we cool. Like, yeah. We it's just cool. like the bathroom shit. Yeah. They want to try to make us let children who identify with the opposite sex more than their own, they want us to be okay with these kids using the same bath. Nigga, you got a dick. You're not going to use a bathroom with my daughter. And ain't nobody going to make me be okay with that shit. But they try to enforce these rules on people and say, this I is think this is okay. Right. It's moving us far. No, the fuck it ain't. Yeah. Because you ain't have to reinvent the wheel on some of this shit. They're making us pussies, man. They making Absolutely. us bitches. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. They really are. And so now they're saying that we're having a discussion. I see people can disagree. Yes, you can disagree. But when you say something like misinformation, that's just you're just saying those words because it's like it sounds cute. Well, like, what's the misinformation? That's what I'm saying. If you have a if you have a real discussion that you want to say in a live room, actually say something that means something. Don't just say something. Oh, it's misinformation. The logic is flawed. What is the logic that's flawed? What is the misinformation? If you don't have that, stop it. That's the problem. You are the problem if that's all you got to offer. That, I, I, I think that, that you got cute silly. words to say. That, but that's just silly though, because I think that anybody with any ability to fucking comprehend fucking logic can listen to what this dude is talking about and say those are facts. The way the, he started the, it with the questions he asked made you. First of all, the question he asked made you okay. Let me see what he's talking about, and then he explained everything and he even put himself in it. Like he said, "Look, I'm a gay dude, and I don't want the government to do that to me. So why would I want them? Like, like he, I don't understand." Absolutely understand. everything that you watch Everything that you hear Is going to have some type of agenda I'm not saying This dude Or that channel Or any of that Is, is 100% Always going to be right In everything they do But I specifically watched this video From the beginning to end Because I felt like It was the one That people really needed to see Now if you want to add in What the, the other videos On the channel are Fine If you want to add in Who the Ruben Report dude is Fine You can do that if you want to As opposed to just taking That one particular video For what, for what it said I mean, I, I don't, I don't even know what else you want to be honest. Let, you, let's just move on to the question of nonsense, man. Man, this is, <laughs> damn, B. Y'all, yeah, y'all didn't piss B off, man. Yeah, they, they, like, they, they in the, in the live room. They said, "What the fuck is wrong with B?" No, motherfuckers no, just what, do not what, want to like, think, like, man. Like, they just do not want. But to. I feel, I feel like we have to continue to talk about it. I feel like people need to hear it, whether they want to hear it or not. I, it I mean, just but, needs to be but, told. But, but the thing about it is, uh, French. Like they're asking, what is his end game? I don't fucking know what his end game is. Why is that important? His end game is to who gives a fuck what his end game is. What is it? Okay, he what? said it. Look at the information that was right. provided. That's all you got to do. What, who gives a fuck what his agenda is and what he's planning to do he after said. he gets the like? What? Everybody I'm not saying subscribe don't have to, to the be nigga. Involved in every fucking thing. Some of this shit just ain't your thing. Some of this shit ain't your business. Some of like pe- people should be able to live their lives the way that you should be able to raise your children. If if, if I gotta raise these niggas, so if they get up 
and go to jail when they get older. Guess who the fuck got to deal with legal fees and, and getting them out of jail and all that? You as a I parent. do. So if I get ready to fuck them up, then <laughs> who are you to tell me I can't fuck up the person I pushed out of my vagina? Are you crazy? Nobody. You just can't fuck them up too you hard. You push them out of here. That's <laughs> nah, what they say. Nah, nah. nah, but the way they got fuck it Fuck them up you, to the, to the, what it, to wait, the length that it needs to be fucked up. They yeah. don't want you to fuck them up mm-hmm. at all. Yeah. I popped my three-year-old in the store, and a lady looked at me like I punched her on her goddamn mouth. Pussies. I told you. And I'm looking at her like, bitch, she out there. See, because a small tantrum at three turns into a bitch thinks she can whoop my ass at 17. But this is this is why I'm saying, like, because I... But they want to be, they want to have a say in everything. Yeah. I know they're really raising pussies, and it's working at its full effect because by the time they're my age, 23... They turn out to be oh, pussies. They're really pussies. Like, everything's a problem now. That's what's already happening now. That's why, like, oh, like... What was the last problem? The, um, there's, there's always a situation. There's <laughs> every, always this, every, every day. day there's a new people wake up every day with. Oh like, yeah, there was one. About? Um, um, appar- apparently they were complaining because hotels don't have shampoos for black hair. I saw that. What? Yeah, yeah. They, uh, that yeah. is a convenience. I've seen that. I saw that. They offer you shit. Thank you, but also if you do the math, there's more white people. Like I'm sorry, if it I'm don't it doesn't even business, matter. Don't even I'm matter. A, I don't owe you shampoo, so how the fuck you gonna tell me I picked a shampoo that that was uh, economically the most <laughs> for my business? Shampoo. I like it. And if you don't like it Go buy your own shampoo Facts <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're supposed to travel With a travel bag most people Don't use anyway. the shampoo Anyway Exactly Girl, my I do. You're getting tap water If you want bottled water Go buy it at the store <laughs> Yeah I take all that hey, shit I take so, all so that shit compl- When I go <laughs> And I get some more yeah, They were really going ham on, They were like, really going ham On the hotel industry For that Like they were really Complaining Signing petitions And all of that Because the hotel industry Don't have products no, 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 For black right. hair And I'm like This yeah. is this is pushing it I'm gonna tell you something though That's crazy Because you said Like we were talking The other day There was a guy in where was he at? The dude with the dog. Uh, I don't know what you're thinking. The dude with the dog who was was killing the the. Oh the yeah, yeah, yeah. He he was. I don't know what the fuck he was. I don't know where he, he was, was in the country. Okay, he was in Chicago. So he had a dog. It was a pit bull. Pit. It was an it all mixed pit with a terrier. It, yeah, it was like a, a pit bull mixed with some type of terrier. Well, he was making YouTube videos of his dog killing like. Stray cats and but this was like shit that just was in the wild. Like this dog was just like, but he wasn't just killing it. He was like eating it too, like the same way National Geographic would be. Yeah, yeah. A lady who was on YouTube from California, from California, fucking is surfing YouTube, looking at cute cat videos, and somehow ends up stumbling across this video. (laughs) Literally puts the federal government, gets the feds involved in this shit. They launch a two, three month investigation on this man and end up literally finding some bullshit ass charges and putting the man in jail. Is it a black dude? Misdemeanors. They did this. It was actually a several month investigation. And all they could do is charge him with, uh, he, was, he was a convicted felon. He wasn't supposed to have a, 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 an attack dog. I don't know even what fucking kind of law that is. Law. Oh, for real? Uh, yeah. Hey, that's that, that's that catch-all. And one catch-all. Yeah, it was that catch-all. And then there was yep. another one, like maybe it was like uh, cruelty to animals or that's something, right. shit like that. But how is it cruelty to animals if it's, it's that, an that's animal natural, fucking that, up another animal? That's right. nature. That's, that's nature, what yeah. nature is. Guess what? Y'all watch National in, Geographic. In America, they y'all watch shark videos. Mm-hmm. Sharks be in fucking America, up. In America, they, 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 dogs are like God. Yeah, right. dogs are treated better than black no, people. No, but, he, but he, it was his dog it that was, was doing dog. the fucking up. It's his dog was eating cats and rats and possums. Anything that they can motherfucker. But I'm talking about that. literally, he, for the most part, he was killing shit that just was wild anyway. Yeah. I, he could come to my house and kill all my possums. They and ugly. I can and they, condone what he did, but it's still his it's right still, to do it. It's not criminal. It's yeah, not it's not criminal. criminal. So for you to turn this into a criminal, a criminal investigation, I can see if y'all take the dog and put the dog down and say that he's a danger. I got that. That's cool. But you're gonna put the man in jail. You're gonna turn this into a criminal. But same, same shit. You don't like what I do, so I'm gonna make you pay for it. That's hey. why I blame Peter. Peter's on that shit. But you, you know, know what? what? All right, let's let's. Start. I want to talk. I'm glad you brought that up. Me and her, we was on the way over here. And there was a lady driving, and she had a dog sitting in her lap, right? Now, you would think that that would be cruelty that's to un- animals. That's unsafe. She was that's driving, and the dog in the, was in the lap. Oh, yeah, fucking but I've never heard the Peter say anything about that when all of the people who are part of Peter will allow their cat or their dog to sit in their lap while they're driving. I can't talk on my phone, or I can't text, but you can let your dog sit there and lick you and, in the face. And walk all around you and right. shit and, like and, that. And, and down by your that, feet and everything. You, sl- you slam on the brakes, that son of a bitch going through. But he they gonna, never speak on that. 
Yeah. You want to know why? Because they would alienate it. their own group so they don't say nothing even though I've it's wrong. I've seen it. And they be having them dog, them damn big ass horses just walking around in the car from front to back. Right. You know what I'm saying? You they be up on the one dashboard. To the one. They yeah. in the back on the, 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 the deck lid. Yeah. That's, 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 that's crazy. What you were saying about Peter though? Fuck no, I'm just saying, no, no. That's just that, that whole mentality. Motherfuckers are, you know, Peter... And then what is that? The well wars. The motherfuckers are willing to kill humans, right? For the sake of of thinking that you know they're they're saving animals. Like I mean, like how fucked up are you that you think that I would fucking bomb some shit or I, I'm willing to fuck up another human because because over an animal. Right. Like, like what, what rationale? I mean, I, I get it. I love dogs. I got, I got two dogs. I got actually a third one. I'm watching right now. But if you tell me. I had to choose one's life over a human. You can get the fuck on, man. I mean, I don't give a fuck. I, so, I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not down with that. To be fair, Jeffrey in the uh, the live room says you got me all the way fucked up this evening. By this logic, if a private biz- a private business ref- uh, refuses to serve colored or gays, it's all good because he owns a business. Nope, not rolling slippery yeah. slope or whatever. Listen, yeah. he, listen. Like, just listen. don't go to his business, man. Why the fuck yeah, would like, you like, want to listen? Okay, this is a perfect example. Perfect example. I called this establishment earlier tonight and ordered some wings. The bra put me on hold. And then she picked up the phone and hung up, right? And I was like, what the fuck? So then I called back, and then she's like, can you hold? I said, yeah, you just don't hang up on me. And then she had like an attitude, and I placed my order, and I was about to go get it. Halfway there, I was like, fuck that. I'm not going. I don't want to. I'm not going to give you money. I don't. I don't want to give you money. Not only that, you might. I feel like you might be like, oh, that's that nigga that was talking shit on the phone, and you might do something to my food. Right. I don't want to deal with nobody that I that I feel exactly that I feel might have a problem with me. And I I went and fucking QT and got me a ninety nine cent hot dog. (laughs) I, yeah. I personally feel like you should let the free market decide the type of stuff. Like, yeah, there's people, so much money floating around. If you don't want my money, then I just give it to the next person. So if you really don't like money and you want to exclude gays and blacks and whoever else, fine. Then your yeah. business won't grow that much. Yeah, it won't. Yeah, the person it won't. who's going to accept everybody, guess what? He's going to get all yeah, the money. All the money. So yep. let the free market decide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, we, we are business owners. I don't ever like for anybody to box me in as a, like a black person. Business. business owner, like a black owned business. That's fine. This is a black owned business. But guess what? I'm never going to narrow myself down into the market of just black no, it, people. No, it's a mix of owned business. Not, you and your, you not, and your boo, y'all mix. Y'all ain't always black. All black. <laughs> all black. <laughs> Even with that being said, I'm hey, not going to hey, and, white and, people. Look, in this corridor right here, all y'all, money. all y'all mix. Even that one right there, he mixed with Mexican. He's from California, so he got Mexican in him. <laughs> so all y'all mix right here. French is all Haitian. <laughs> and I'm all black. Our business is in McDonough, <laughs> Georgia. Oh, that's a good white area. We are in. in, in <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. White area. And guess what? We are her. in an industry that is predominantly white male. Like it's a white male industry. Yeah, that word. And so, a little black girl owns this business. You wouldn't believe the number of white people that I get that you can tell that they got an issue. But I tell you what, they don't have so much of an issue that they don't want to save the money they're going to save with me over shopping at Big Box. Their issue ain't that big. Yeah. So, you know... they want to save money. Most they they, they, exactly. they have money, but they don't mean just because they got a lot of money don't mean that they want to spend it. That they want to They want to cut that. corners as much as right. they're impossible. They, they allow, you know what I'm saying? They allow uh, Mexicans to build their houses. They allow, yeah. you know, people to be their maid. So they don't well, have they no allow problem black spending people money to with their kids. Right. Oh, my. Right. So here we go. This is, this is how it starts. Now they're saying Dave Rubin, the guy who was on the video, is a mascot for converts of the right. That's why agenda matters. And what I'm trying to get you to understand is it doesn't matter what his agenda is. If he's telling Listen the truth. to the information. Decide whether you agree with that information, but have a real reason for disagreeing. Don't just disagree because he's a mascot for converts of the right What's because that? that's Fucking ridiculous was, was, That is ridiculous that? Two plus two <laughs> Equals four No matter what's who wrong says with it being, If I used what's to be a stripper you? But I don't want my daughter to strip I'm not a fucking hypocrite I just don't want my daughter to strip yeah, Nigga yeah, like yeah. I, I, I see some better shit Like I wanted to have a better life Like it, it, it's not the same thing it, Like like people gotta stop it, In a sense it's they, they overthink shit on purpose To not get the people point People think with too much emotion Hold on hold on hold on this That's the, the problem Don't let people walk you down the street Without looking at your surroundings that's exactly what I'm trying to tell you. 
because this dude is a uh, convert for the right what it's a mascot or whatever that's why you're not paying attention you're not even looking around you're saying fuck it I don't want to hear none of you got to say because he's a, a convert for the ma- ma- whatever that shit is <laughs> that shit is ridiculous that's what I'm that's the point I'm trying to make I'm saying look at your surroundings if I give you some information look at the value of the information not what the dude who, 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 deli- who delivered the shit right right true true hey look so so look and so if a mother if, if, if you if you don't like white people and they say hey this building on fire you like nah, I'm not gonna listen to the white man mm-hmm. they told me to build a fire no fuck that that nigga just gave me some information right. let me get my ass out of here fuck who who he, who he is right. you know what I'm saying appreciate thanks man it, appreciate guy. the shit right. let me get the fuck on <laughs> you know what I'm saying I think we I think we talked about that one time I think we had like you know I think it was like a racist you know and I think somebody was you know saving his life or something I think we it was like the concept like if you oh, was yeah. racist would you or would you want a racist like if you were would you want them to give you CPR or mouth to mouth or whatever? I I wouldn't give a fuck. And if you would, if you say I'd rather die than have a motherfucker from the clan give Save me, you know, give me CPR or fucking do, you know, I mean, you you're a fucking clown. I mean, really, you are, that, and that's kind of what you're and saying. You're a motherfucking lie. Right. If you about to get ready to die, you gonna take anybody's <laughs> lips who can goddamn save your ass. Exactly. Yeah. Fuck. Exactly. And that's the thing that we're talking about right now is that the information. Don't judge it based off of who it's coming from, just because it's coming from somewhere you think isn't where you come from or the, a place where you stand. You gotta figure out is this information valid? I don't. I didn't understand. I didn't see anything that he said that wasn't valid. I mean, it, to me, I fucked with everything that he said, and it. I mean, you guys already know that I, I'm. I'm not like y'all anyway, so <laughs> maybe that's why y'all think it's, I'm agreeing. But I think y'all should just open your mind a little bit. I was surprised nobody had anything good to say about the cop that showed up to the people at the barbecue and didn't go ballistic on the black people. Yeah, we're so we just want to say shout out. We're so proud of you. Right, nobody said anything about that white officer. They shout out in, to Oakland in PD. Oakland, right? And he ain't throw him down on the ground. They showed up to around. a barbecue looking at the white chick like, oh boy, here we go. That's how he, <laughs> that was his energy. He was like, I'm just gonna stand perfectly still. Maybe she'll stop crying and shut up. Yeah. Are you done? But you know, but let let these guys let these guys tell you all cops are bad, right? All cops are because they're cops. That's why we don't listen to nothing they say, right? Okay. But see, that still comes from that media shit too. The only shit that we hear about cops is bad shit. You yeah. don't hear about the good you shit. Right. Yeah, there was all a cop. Do, my bad, sorry to cut you off, but there was a cop that saved that baby. baby. Yeah, like mother was driving, had to stop in and the middle the baby of the highway. Unresponsive, and he literally <laughs> took the baby out of the car, put the baby in the back of his squad car. Make sure you're in the mic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> put the baby in the squad car and. Race the baby to the hospital himself. White cop. And save the baby's life. Black family. But you never hear about that shit, though. It, it, and if you do hear it, it's a footnote. It's at the, the third page of the back of the newspaper. It's all the way down to the end of the, <laughs> the, the, when you're scrolling down to the end of the, the page on the internet. So, they don't, want, they don't so, want you to hear that shit. So, no, actually. Oh, you bring it up? And in all the videos. If you do hear it, motherfuckers will be like, oh, that's fake news. Right, yeah. like uh, what? A oh, white cop oh, wouldn't do oh, that. Oh, they do it just Wait. for the cameras. Right, Look, and I'm. Oh, they do it just for the cameras. Y'all heard about the two boys that they claim got lynched in Oklahoma or yeah. or here? There was one here too. They were in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah. But have any of y'all really read? Have you no, read no. the story? See, my wife will tell you, I'm one of these people that, that, yeah. that before might. I make pass judgment on anything, I do my research. You're smart, Now, man. I kept seeing all these headlines about these two black boys getting lynched in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. And I'm, I'm getting mad. I'm like, damn, they fucking still lynching people out there in Oklahoma? So I look this shit up, and I read about it, and it, and it comes out that these niggas, playing these the niggas is, 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 is going to a drug, uh, not a drug deal, a gun deal, I'm sorry. There is a gun deal between two white guys and two black guys. The two black guys get in the back of the car with the white guys, and the white guys claim that they heard a gun click, so they started shooting, which may or may not be true. But what we're not addressing here is that they were going uh, to go do a gun, gun deal, deal with these two white guys. Now, these white guys did cut their bodies up and put them in the water. They did some bullshit. But we're going to throw the word lit. But, but th- what does this have to do with racism? To me, it sounds like these niggas are trying to get away with a crime. It sounds like I right. killed somebody. I don't want to go to jail, so I'm going to goddamn hide his body so no one finds it. Not right. because I don't like black people, but that's what that's what we we talk, uh, we've talked about that on the show is that we be so quick to blame, like you know you, you know sometimes with the white cops what they do to black. There's some cases where the whites were wrong, right. but there are other cases that the niggas was wrong. Right. The niggas the niggas was wrong in the beginning, but right. you ignore the fact you like that part on like the video. like nigga nigga, nigga why is you here selling drugs or why are you in here stealing? Right. Right. Oh, I'll never what? forget. And you mad because you got beat down and the cops drug you. You shouldn't yeah. have been stealing and putting yourself in yeah, yeah, they yeah. say, well, he didn't deserve to die. Who the fuck gets to judge that, that. shit? Like, nigga. <laughs> shouldn't have put yourself in that motherfucking situation, nigga. Exactly. 
When the police say put your hands up, everybody know kiss you ass, put your man. hands up. Kiss ass, Even bro. if you kiss feel ass. like you right, wait until you get a fucking lawyer and deal with it. Yeah. These yeah. people have the right to kill you yeah. by yeah. law, yeah. so you have to respect that until it's changed. Yeah. You know, and they have to also understand that, yo, at the end of the day, Black people are out here really shooting cops too. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, it ain't even just black people. It's mostly right. white people. Are people are really shooting the cops. Like, there's people out there that are really. Cops, when they get to their office, they hear about cops getting shot. So, of course, they're ready to kill at any moment the minute you move differently. It just yeah. happened at McDonough. Yeah, like. When, it just happened at McDonough. They went to, the, serve, they a went to serve a warrant on this dude. Everything was some, somehow like. It, it, Chip seemed to be it going kind of. It was a misdemeanor of, situation. Right. Yeah. It wasn't even Somehow serious. Another, a young, like I'm talking about, he hadn't even been in the in the uh, yeah. police academy. Yeah, he was a rookie. Yeah, he was rookie. He had a brand. His wife was pregnant. Mm -hmm. Like she was. Sound like seven, brand, but, seven yeah. seconds. Yeah, but it was, was like whatever it was. Like some shit just went left, and they ended up having to kill this nigga. But they didn't like, come there on that shit. They came there on some. We just coming to serve this warrant, and you yeah. know we need you to come with us. And he didn't want to go, so yeah. I guess an altercation ensued. And, yeah. and he ended up shooting all three of the cops. Yeah, and we're not. They killed him. Yeah, but he shot three. What yeah. about the white dude at Georgia Tech? That motherfucker wasn't listening. He was in the middle of the street fucking hollering and screaming, and they try to tell him what to do, and, it, you know, he's walking towards the cop talking about shoot me. Nigga, yeah, get shot. shot, nigga. I mean, it happens. If you don't listen, you know what I mean? If yeah. you get told you a lawful... To right. these people. Yeah. You get told a lawful order, nigga, you don't listen, nigga, you automatically in the wrong. Because I don't like give a fuck. You have to obey a judge. Yeah. Well, guess what? Keyword here, since they want to say agenda... Guess what? Everybody got a fucking agenda. Everybody. So now so. black people have this agenda. Okay, so every time something happens, we were automatically right because we were black. How about this, Missy? I'm rude for everybody black. I'm not. Bullshit. I'm not rude for everybody you know, black. Mm -hmm. Some of you niggas belong in jail. Some of you folks actually belong dead because some of you niggas fucked up. None of being real. It's, it's, it's some fucked up shit not. going on out here and you can't justify yo, everybody's yo, actions because we're missing all black the lives matter. Today. No, I, some I, of you I, niggas need to be dead. I'm sorry. I just want to I just want to say that uh I'm thoroughly loving this show today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's honest, though. This message is it, it, it approved by Jamie Mack. If you touch kids, kill yourself. It's Dr. Mack, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Dr. Mack. Listen, be, no, for real, though. It, it, I've been saying this shit for years, and I've never been popular for my opinion in that matter because, again, I think black people like to fucking be holier than thou and ride for black just because it's They're black. They're black. Right and is right. Wrong is stupid. wrong. That's stupid. That's, we, that, that's the same mentality. But we know where that comes from, though. We know but, where that came from. But that's from. the same mentality that they're saying in the room right now is like, don't ride for that. I can't fuck with this dude just because... X, Y, Z. Fuck what he's saying. I don't even care what he's saying. He comes from a place I don't fuck with, so anything he says is, is invalid. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's not, I mean. And then turn around and ride for everything that. Right. Because it's black, and regardless of if it's invalid or not, because it's black, I'm down. And I'm going to fight for it, and I'm going to ride behind it. And if you don't agree, then, then you're not black. You know what I hate? The fact that we have to cancel things because they made a mistake or... People gotta get fired because this is some weird comments or some right. stuff like that. You gotta lose your job. Yeah, like um, I didn't know that guy got fired for talking to Donald Trump when Donald Trump said grab him by the pussy, Billy Bush. All oh, right. Yeah, like I was like, why did he get fired? I don't know. Yeah, he got fired because he, he laughed he when Donald Trump on online. Crazy thing is, he's like a, a Bush cousin. Like he's a real Bush. Yeah, so yeah, it yeah. didn't really matter, you know. It, 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 yeah, I mean, I know he got paid. <laughs> he still got his right, money, but right. like. He didn't even say the comment, and he got fired. All, all I would hope, man. <laughs> he laughed. He, 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 he was what was he supposed shit. to say in that situation? It yeah, it is. It was, it was, it was locker talk. It is. It was locker talk. Hold up, though. Talk like that. Be what we saying? They st y'all soft. Y'all soft. Y'all soft as fuck. Y'all soft. Y'all yeah. soft. I'll say it one more time. Y'all are soft. Everything offends somebody. It don't matter what you say. Guess what? It's at least. Three motherfuckers in a, Have y'all seen What's her name? Michelle Wolf Yeah that's Have y'all seen her Her. Oh uh, yeah that shit was beautiful speech? The uh, whole 20 minutes of it was I wanted beautiful. to give her A standing ovation And I wasn't even there And if you looked At the camera outtakes On the crowd You could drop a pin In that room Everybody was so Them, them motherfuckers offended. Ain't know who was Gonna be next Oh she, my she god She was going around the room She was going like, in but She was going she, in She was coming She was coming You can get this stroke. shit You can She said Somebody didn't do their research Before they hired me <laughs> Let them know <laughs> <laughs> But see this is This is the thing about You know the whole Grab him in the pussy You know you talk about His locker talk Is this that But it was facts This motherfucker saying If you got money 
You can do this type of shit. Anything you to can. Right. You can do this type of shit. Right. I want you to say that out loud. Still sexual assault, but you really can. But you really yeah. can. Yeah. 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 We're not saying it's not, but we're Bill just Clinton saying. Bill Clinton has been uh, uh, accused I, of more violations of women than a little bit, no, and y'all never say shit about him. Because uh, he, he gives you welfare. Because he gives you welfare. You love welfare. But he no, because that Jonah. motherfucker played the sax and he fucking hit the weed. And he gave you welfare. That, that's so that, yeah, they can relate. They, I, right. But see, hold up. Fuck all of that. They were still ready Fuck to all of that. for his wife they again. Don't, they don't even know that he put they all these, but... Oh, no, the no they don't. He was president during that time. But like, listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> first of all, if you don't read, you don't know that he's the reason that all of these black men are in jail. You yep. don't know the laws that he passed that, that are strikes. the reason that half these niggas didn't have no daddy, and that's why they wear skinny jeans and fucking right. nail polish French, now. French, <laughs> French? Like, don't you don't wear, have don't skinny But you got a daddy. You still wear your tight shit. <laughs> you know <laughs> but you, I'm going to tell you something. He call it a fad. Unless you really, like, unless you research and you really know what's going on around you. But like you said, they turn this TV on and they watch whatever is shown on the TV. Program. That's where they, been, listen, and old black people started this shit. Like, they, they, like, my grandmother was be the first one to be like, well, they said, well, first of all, who the fuck is they? And when you get to the core of it, it's like, well, oh, um, I heard it on the news. And I mean, like, this is what no one ever bothered to research shit for themselves. Whatever you told them. Was what it was. And they took it forward. And they took it for face value. Yep. And it became a part of their belief system. And so now we're just dealing with an entire society that just believes what the fuck you tell them. Because guess what? They don't read a whole article. They read a fucking headline. And that's it. And they right. may, and then they just tell themselves a story. Or then they start listening to everybody else on social media saying what it is. And guess what? Before you know it, whatever really happened... Never even, nope. never even gets exposed. Apparently, we're dumbing down the message. That's what we're doing right now. And, <laughs> and, and Bill Clinton had nothing to do with welfare, nor nor Democrats. Nor the hundred to one crack laws. Nor Democrats have nothing to do with welfare. But I mean, you know, I, I don't know what else to say, man. I mean, I, I still love you. You know, we have a relationship. The people who who I'm talking to, we have a relationship in the slack room. I still love y'all, man. But I don't know what else to tell you if you don't if you don't see it for yourself. If you cannot. Decipher through somebody who what their face looks like or what else they've been involved in and hear the messaging. I don't I don't even know what else to say, man. I, I would hope that at the end of this, <laughs> me getting upset or whatever happened, that you would start, even if it's just a little bit, just start thinking a little bit more for yourself and not not just allow all the, the information around that to clutter your mind from actually getting the message there. And if the message don't speak to you, fine. I get it. If the message is not what you need to hear, fine. Throw it away. I don't, I'm not telling you not to, but I am saying, damn, give it a chance. Or take your message and that message and find a, find a middle point. Something. Well, it's, it's, it's like a magician. These motherfuckers is, you know, they use sleight of hand. And that's what I feel like these people are, 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 you know, susceptible to. They are so distracted by all this other bullshit that they're unable to see that this bitch really ain't get cut in half. That the floor really didn't open. I mean, like, they didn't disappear. Like, there was a, a room in back of the other room or there's a fucking mirror. You know, like, you don't see what the real trick is. You think fucking magic is happening. And it's because you're so fucking distracted that you don't see what's really going on. I asked my opinion. Well, we're gonna. I guess we're gonna let y'all go for today. Um, we're gonna get to the rest of this show here, but we appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm sure that I'm a. <laughs> Why are you so happy for Reggie? Because this is a good turn. show. <laughs> this, is, this is a good show, man. I'm sure I'm gonna still continue getting killed in these comments. I don't really give a fuck though, because I'm gonna still continue opening my eyes and paying attention to all the information. And it, I don't care how racist the motherfucker is who gives it to me. I'm still gonna listen to the information, and I'm gonna figure. I'm smart enough. Thank you, but I'm smart enough to figure out if it's something I agree with or not. And and, you know, even Jay Smooth is smart enough to understand whether something he agrees with or not. Right, Jay Smooth? Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, keep supporting us. Keep interacting with us. And we'll keep bringing the nonsense because we realize that sometimes people just need to laugh. Till next time. Peace.